this week I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Throw Some Mo by Ray Shmirda. And we end up cabling this on fourth fret to kind of match the recording, but we'll walk through a couple things in reposition. And it starts out with these cool little notes. If you want to follow the, the, that, that keyboard riff, you start out with the open E, third on the B, first fret on the B, open B, second on the G, open B, first fret on the B, and then third fret on the B. Almost kind of start that idea over. Open E, and then third on the B, first fret on the B, open B, second on the G, open B, first fret on the B, open E, and then we go to first fret on the high E, third fret on the B, first fret on the B, open B, two on the D, and then two on the G, open B, first fret on the B, first fret on the high E, third fret on the B, first fret on the B, open B, two on the D, two on the G, first fret on the B, and then third fret on the B. You may want to pause the video and look at the tab if you're kind of interested in the thaw in that way. So you got E, D, C, B, A, B, C, B, E, D, C, B, A, B, C, E, F, D, C, B, E, A, B, C, F, D, C, B, E, A, C, D. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can almost kind of make this a finger style thing and let your thumb kind of take a bass note to support the chord and use your fingers to kind of play the lick and start out with an open A string to back up that open E kind of at the same time. And you can kind of throw in another open A with the open E. And then you may want to throw in an open D for the first fret on the high E. And then another open D for the first fret on the high E. working that almost like a finger style idea. You can also work that hybrid picking using the pick for the bass and kind of working the fingers for the lick. So you may want to kind of pause the video and kind of look at those licks if you're kind of interested in those. Or you could just back this up with chords and if you're starting out that's probably a little bit easier option. And we start on an A minor chord and normally you do that first finger on the B first fret second finger on the D second, third finger on the G second. And if you strum all those together, all the sad sounds of A minor. Now, you may also dig on lifting off the first finger and making an A sus two. We're adding in the pinky on the B third for an A suspended, and saying some stuff around A minor. Or you could lift off the third finger for an A minor seven. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor seven. Or you may even dig on an A seven sus, doing first finger on the D second, Second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third, a little bit more unresolved. That might be kind of a cool option to have in your head. And then from the A minor, we'd be going to a D minor. And normally do that first finger on the high E first fret, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, ah, oh, the sad sound of D minor is the saddest chord. Oh, now you may also dig on lifting the first finger, making that a D sus two. Add in the pinky on the high E third, D suspended, and kind of say some stuff around the D minor. And randomly, especially if you're digging on the A7 sus and looking for really easy options, you can even work the A7 sus and just lift off the, the first finger and have a D sus. So that might be a really easy option, just kind of taking one finger out of the chord if you're looking for really easy options. And there's a couple strumming options you may want to play around with. You could do kind of a down count idea, kind of an eight down on each chord. A minor two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A minor two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D minor, D minor. And I'm adding a little bit of right hand to do that. I'm kind of taking the flat of my right hand and just laying it down on top of the strings near the saddle. I made that a little sneaky to kind of dig on that. Or you can use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you take the A minor and just try that a lot. You have down.
myself, I was really digging on something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. So we're kind of one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that? Take the A minor, do it down for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four. One, two, down, one, two, down, one, two, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along with the what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on fourth fret then now your A minor is really a C sharp minor and your D minor is really an F sharp minor. But especially if you're kind of digging on those licks at the beginning you can kind of use those solo or kind of add in those bass notes. Kind of that O3 through throw some mo <laughs> I reach my so good luck hi 
Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land, this is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it, because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So. Thanks so much for all the love that you give me, and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck, and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section, and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So, best of luck to you wherever you are.